Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Scott from Get Off The Couch Design and I'm going to go ahead and walk through making a family name sign. We'll start off with the sanding and prepping of the boards and then we'll move through to programming and Aspire by Vetric and all the way through cutting on the I2R8 from imagination to reality. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is once I have my plywood cut to the size I need, I'm going to go ahead and sand everything. I just run it through uh, 120 grit and then apply some early American stain to each one with a blue shop rag. If you have more interest in sanding and staining plywood, then leave a note in the comments and we can get a video specifically for that. Otherwise, I'm going to move on to the main event. To make my cuts on the CNC, I program in Aspire by Vetric, and it's pretty simple to use and straightforward. To keep things consistent, I have a template here that I use, and I basically just replace the last name and then kind of move things around and finagle it to make it all look uniform. Alright, so once we're done finagling all the letters and words and all that jazz, we're going to go ahead and pick our bit. I'm going to use a 90 degree V bit um, on here. I'll leave a link in the description below. But if you're interested in learning more on how I use Vetric Spire to program for my CNC cuts, please leave a comment below and I can do some more series on how I use Vetric Spire. Otherwise, we're going to continue on to UCNC and running the I2R8 CNC. Here we're just opening up UC CNC and that's what we're going to use to send the code from the computer to the CNC to make our cuts. Now we can save our code from Aspire and then go ahead and open it up in UCNC, UC CNC and once we do you'll be able to see the uh, code come up on the screen. Alright, now that everything's set on the computer we'll move over to getting prepped for on the actual CNC with our piece. I like to use this x fasten double-sided woodworking tape. It's super strong and easy to use. Just put it on, rip off your back piece, and then secure it. I have a little um, X and Y set up here from a carpenter square that I used, and we'll line it up right on there. Then we'll go ahead and get our zero point. By using the carpenter square, I'm able to keep my X and Y zero in the same spot, but the Z changes with every piece. So I like to use this go to zero button, and it puts your point right on the zero. Once I know that's all set, then it's ready to go. And then you just click cycle start, and you can watch a cut on the screen from the computer in UC CNC. As you can see on the left, the yellow ball is where the bit is. And then you can look in the little screen down below and see it actually cutting on the CNC. It's pretty cool that they're in line with one another. I've used other CNCs in the past where this is not the case. CNC is doing its thing, but it is pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, once it's done, I go ahead and suck up all the dust that the dust collection missed, and then I will pry it up with some shims, and uh, you can see the final piece. Without the border, of course.